Looking for cheap NBA 2K MT coins or Madden coins? Head over to buy2kmutt.com for the cheapest coins online and use code MASSIVE for 20% off your order. So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K20. And in today's video, we are going to be doing the other side of the Bradley Beal of Brooklyn Nets rebuild. So as you can probably guess, yeah, we're going to be doing the Wizards side of it today. Uh, I'm put through the exact same trade. I'll show you guys the tra trade in a second if you did not see, you know, the other part of this when I did the Brooklyn Nets one. But if you did not see that, make sure you go check it out after this. But... Before we get into this video, uh, if you hear like a buzzing noise in the background, yeah, that's my air conditioning, and I apologize. It's like central AC throughout the house. I can't do anything about it. I'm, I'm sorry about this. Hopefully, it doesn't affect this video too much. Um, other than that, though, if you guys have any other video ideas down below or down or any other video ideas, make sure to leave them down below. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, obviously, you know, incorporate some of your ideas more into my videos, and I'm also going to start go ahead and using the community tab as well. So if you guys want to check that out. Um, I'm going to start using that frequently. I literally have never used it before, and I did my first one well, tonight when I'm recording this, but you guys have seen this tomorrow. So I'm very, very excited um, to go ahead and hop into this rebuild. Um, if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, and if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. But other than that, let's hop into this one. So I went ahead and put through, through the exact trade that I you know, did in my other rebuild. Um, this is the trade. Bradley Beal for Spencer Dinwiddie, Jared Allen, Karis LeVert, a 2021 top 10 protected first, and a 2023 first round pick as well. Um, my thoughts on this trade were I think it's way too much for Brooklyn to give up. Um, I kind of get also get my thoughts on why I don't think, uh, you know, Brooklyn should do this deal to start with. I mean, I think Bradley Beal's better as a ball dominant player and Kevin Rand and Kyrie Irving are two of the more ball dominant players in the league. So I think that big three, you know, obviously probably doesn't work as well, but that's, you know, not this side of the video. So that trade has gone through. Uh, I kind of asked you guys, you want me to keep it the same for this rebuild? Did you want me to switch it up a little bit? Everybody said, just keep it the same. Um, a lot of people said the trade was fair value. I think this is a lot to give up for Bradley Beal, but. That's my opinion. That's what a lot of articles are saying online that the trade would probably be. So we're getting the good side of this deal, I think, if, if I'm being honest with you. This is a lot of value for one guy. But let's get into this video. Uh, we do have the eighth overall pick in this draft. It uh, looks like we were projected to get six. We ended up you know, with eight, which is unfortunate. We went 29 and 53 on the year. The, the question of whether I'm going to keep John Wall is going to be you know, one to discuss and one that I'm going to have to definitely think about. We do have the eighth overall pick in a very guard-heavy draft class. So we will obviously you know, have to go ahead and see. We're going to go to staff signing right now. Joshua Sanford, you're fine. I'll give Scott Brooks another year. I mean, he doesn't have a lot to work with. Chris Green, I'm going to let go. Uh, Caleb Montgomery can stay. I'll, tell, I'll sign Justin Powell. Uh, assistant coach, let me go. Um, I'm trying to get somebody you know I never really get. Ooh, Benjamin Walker, low-key has good ratings. I don't think I've ever signed him. Benjamin Walker might be my new guy that I end up getting a lot here. All right, we have a whole, or not a whole new staff, but three new guys here in our front office. Uh, we head up to the draft for now. As I mentioned, do have pick eight. We look at some prospects. I mean, we have a lot of guards, obviously. John Wall, Spencer Dinwiddie, Karis LeVert. There's a lot to work with there. Um, we have a new center in Jared Allen. I'm excited to use him. We have a power forward in Rui Hachimura. I don't, who's the best small forward in this class? I guess it's Isaac Okoro, who maybe very well could fall to. You know, number eight, we'll obviously see how that one goes. But, I mean, he's not a bad target at all. Sadiq Bey here as well. Um, so we will say, I also wouldn't mind moving Hachimura to small forward. I mean, in real life, I don't know how well he would fit a small forward, but again, this is a, it's a video game You can kind of make do with whatever the game, you know, suggests for you. So let's go ahead in this draft right now. Isaac Okoro is sitting here and I, I, to be honest with you, I don't think I've really ever drafted the guy. I don't know a ton about him. He's from Auburn. Let's go ahead and take the chance on him. Six, six from Auburn, 225 pounds. We also have the sixth overall pick in the second round. Uh, I'll go ahead and draft somebody there as well because I tend to just trade my second round picks a lot, but six. Uh, and the second round is not too deep. So, whoops, did I mean to do that? Let's go ahead. Um, highest overall prospect here is McCurmaker. Tyler Bay is here. Trent Wofford, he's from, yeah, LSU. Oh, he went to LSU? I thought he was somewhere else. Um, I'm, I do not know a ton about college basketball, to be totally honest with you, especially. And typically, like, I learn a lot in March Madness, and just obviously that didn't happen this year. So, oh, boy. Um, I know a little bit about Josh Green. That's not. I got him and Jalen Green confused in one video. I think I'm going to go with McCurr Maker, though. I can probably send him to the G League for a year. Uh, probably can develop to be a pretty decent backup center for us. So Isaac Okoro is going to be a 76 overall for us. McCurr Maker is going to be a 71. I'm perfectly fine with that. Team player options, Jerome Robinson I will be back. He was on the Clippers at one point, right? I do believe so. Qualifying, we have none here. And then so free agency is going to be a really interesting point. I honestly would not mind starting Spencer Dinwiddie for a year, especially because he's making, what is that, like, 30 million dollars less than john wall and i'm not saying their production is going to be similar but like 19 or 20 points six and a half assists versus oh wow low-key spencer didn't he had a better year than john wall i don't know i'm up in the air i don't love starting lavert i'd rather have him off the bench at some point maybe even in some sort of trade oh i forgot we had troy brown jr on this team totally slipped my mind hachimori here and then obviously jared allen we also have a really solid backup center here in thomas bryant who i think honestly can start in this league 
Uh, so Wagner will probably be traded for a backup. Power. Actually, I can probably just move Wagner. Yeah, he can, he can definitely go to my backup power forward spot. Um, he actually goes up to an 81. So, yeah, he's going to go ahead and be my new backup power forward. I am going to start Hachimura still. I think Okoro is going to get the start, and then Troy Brown Jr. come off the bench. I don't really need Isaac Bonga. Who, it, it still amazes me this guy right here is 20 years old. Like, this, he, he looks like he's 40. Probably, honestly, older than 40 in that picture, which is just crazy. But just my two cents right there. All right. I don't, I'm, I don't know what I want to do with John Wall. Just, just to be totally honest with you right now, if I'm going to trade John Wall, like, let's just see some offers I get here. It's just like $41 million. I mean, I know I don't play with entries on, which is obviously one of the big concerns in real life, but just like, I don't really need that. Tyler Hero, low key, kind of interested. It saves us a ton of cap. It's a really nice young player. We're also going to pick up Kelly Olenek there. Mitchell Robinson, don't really need another center. You see, that's the thing. I don't really need another position, like another starting position. Ooh, D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell definitely entices me a lot. All right, I think I'm going to try to make a trade here for D'Lo. Can I just do it straight up? I'm not, I don't really want to give you a first round pick. I do have a couple guys down here that I don't really need. Uh, I wouldn't, I am going to go nine man rotation. No, they can't afford Ish Smith. Um, how about Ish Smith making six million bucks? How about if I go ahead and give you Isaac Bonga? They want two first now for Jarrett Culver. I'm good on giving you two first. I'll give you Admiral Schofield as well. Can you afford that? Of course you can't. Uh, how about if I just give you a, a couple seconds? They want one second. They're going to give me Josh Okogi. Okoji, whatever it is. That's, Perfectly fine by me. Uh, so, um, uh, I think I'm probably going to start D'Lo at the shooting guard spot. One, because his overall goes up. And two, because I don't really think, you know, uh, I'm up in the air. I'm, I'm confused at what I want to do. A Kogi we have now, who is like a really solid, you know, backup. But we just don't really need him, to be honest. Karis LeVert's going to be really solid off the bench. I think I'm going to trade all three of these guys, a Kogi, Schofield, and Robinson. Because then our team's kind of all set. McCurr, Maker will be in the G League. I actually am going to probably do a 10-man rotation for at least the first year. So um, this is unfortunate. I don't really want to trade Josh Kogi. I think he has some really good trade value or really good value that he can eventually become off the bench for me and probably even start for somebody. But we'll see what I can get. He does have two and a half stars. Looks like a really valuable first-round pick from Cleveland. Top five protected. I'm hoping they fall to number six. That's where I'm hoping they end up at. Uh, Admiral Schofield and Justin Robinson will be the last two. We're not even going to be signing anybody in free agency. I'll make sure we don't have any... Um, Buddy that I want to re-sign. That's too important. But other than that, John Wall and Bradley Beal are now gone. We're in a new era here in Washington, D.C. And I'll see you guys at the rotation at the start of the first year. I don't know how on earth I forgot about Davis Burtons. And now he's not interested. Somebody said that if you look him up over, like, in Player Finder, they actually will still sign with you. Um, oh, I did that by first name. I'm a dumbass. Um, if he doesn't want to sign with me, there's nothing I can do. I just want to make sure you guys know I didn't just forget about him. Um, that would suck. Okay, so he he still will sign. I don't know. It's actually kind of weird, but I don't. We'll see what number offer that is for him. Hopefully, it's number one. It's actually all right. I don't. I can't even look at the contracts, and he still signs it. This this is a really weird thing, um, which unfortunately means that I'm probably going to be moving on from Mo Wagner. I think Davis Burton's is a much better player. That kind of goes without being said. And I obviously you know like the floor spacing he's going to go ahead and offer. Not that I think Mo Wagner actually can probably stretch the floor a little bit. What's his overall or what's his um. He actually has an A minus three point shot. I did not know that. Good for him. I was definitely wrong on that one. But maybe we can get some good value and get one more first round pick for him. Um, I wouldn't mind that at all. He's probably in the final year of his deal, anyways. If I had to imagine, actually, he might have one more year. He does have one more year, so we can actually probably get a little more value than I originally thought. Um, I can get Mitchell Robinson for Mo Wagner. That's kind of crazy. Nobody wants to give me a first round pick for the guy. Uh, the Spurs are going to give me Trey Lyles in a first. I'm going to then go ahead and move Trey Lyles, hopefully for another first. And now I will officially see you guys at the start of year number one with the rotation. So we do have a rotation all set here for the start of the first season. Spencer Dinwiddie and D'Angelo Russell is a really solid backcourt, in my opinion. I'm very excited to see what they can do together. Isaac Okoro, I am going to give the edge to over Troy Brown Jr. I mean, he was our number eight overall pick. I think he definitely has a ton of potential for this team. Rui Hachimura in here starting a power forward. Obviously, the former, yeah, ninth overall pick in the last year's draft. Uh, and then Jared Allen, our new piece that we acquired from Brooklyn, going to be our starting center. Bench looks like this. Karis LeVert, Davis Burtons, Thomas Bryant, Troy Brown Jr., and Ish Smith. It is an unbelievable bench. This is the kind of bench I have at, like, the end of the video, not typically, you know, in the first season. So I'm very pumped about that. I think this team can actually do a lot. I really like the depth on this team. I think it can probably be a round of four or five seed in the Eastern Conference. Hopefully we can do that, and I'll see you guys at the end of the first year. So we in year number one with a record of 46, and 36 kind of around where I thought we are going to be. It's probably going to be around a five or a six seed, so I'm pretty excited about that. Giannis does win MVP for the Milwaukee Bucks. LaMelo Ball, rookie of the year, ended up getting drafted by the Detroit Pistons. Schroeder, six-man, 
Really solid stats from Kawhi Defensive Player of the Year. Tony Bradley most approved. Don't think I've ever seen that one before. Interesting to see. And Brad Stevens, Coach of the Year. I'm thinking about doing or trying to – I did this, I believe, 2K19, uh, winning every award challenge. If you guys do want to see me do one of those, I'd be happy to do it. Um, I had a ton of fun doing it. It's obviously a pretty hard challenge, but I'd be happy to give it a go at some point if you guys want to see it. Let me, let me know down below. Washington ended up at – not Washington, well, I guess Washington, but us. We ended up as a six seed today uh, here at the end of year number one. We probably would have been, yeah, around a six, seven seed there in the Western Conference. Player stats here. D'Angelo Russell, Spencer Dinwiddie with a really solid year. I would imagine this is what John Wall stat one little looked like. And we got Spencer Dinwiddie doing it for $30 million less, even though he has a free agent this offseason. We'll see what ends up happening there. Rui Hachimura, Karis LeVert, Isaac Okoro, not a bad rookie campaign. Uh, Jared Allen, 10.5 points, 11.5 boards. I will absolutely take that. Davis Burton's off the bench, Bertans, whatever it is. Troy Brown Jr., Thomas Bryant, Ish Smith. Uh, looks like Omer Caspi played a little bit, a little bit too. Rebounds per game went to Jared Allen. Assists went to Spencer Dinwiddie. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy where this team's at. Obviously, you know, we got Giannis and the Bucks here in the first round. Not the ideal matchup, but it's Bledsoe Roberson, who's a great addition to this. Dude, look at this defensive team. Look at this defensive team. Eric Bledsoe is one of the better defensive guards in this league. Under Roberson's absolutely locked down when healthy. Chris Middleton's a really solid defensive piece. You got a literal defensive player of the year right here. And I would say Brooke Lopez is honestly an underrated player defensively. That's going to be a tough one, especially against a really young team and a not-so-good team. I mean, we're decent, but we're not very good, to be totally honest with you. So... Uh, yeah, we're down 3 nothing. kind of what I expected. I would imagine they probably held us to not a lot of points per game. We can check that one right after we finish simming this first round here. Uh, I would imagine they probably held us to under around 105, 110 points a game. Um, yeah, how many, what would they do, points per game, points per game? They held us to 96 points per game. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was the absolute worst. Yeah, that, that Bucks team, I, I told you they were good. Or, or, they were good defensively. That's insane. I'll see you guys in the offseason. I guess if I can't win a championship, might as well my favorite team won one. Jason Tatum does go on to win the finals MVP for the Celtics. Probably coming pretty soon, by the way. Uh, as the Celtics do go on to beat the Clippers in five. So, we're going to head into this offseason right now. Um, I, I got a lot of things and a lot of decisions I probably do have to make. Um, one starting right now is if I do want to keep Scott Brooks. Um, if I look at some people that are here, my Mike D'Antoni, Jacob Underwood, Trent Peterson, Frank Vogel. Ooh, Frank Vogel low-key has two A ratings. Benjamin Walker, I might just hire as my head coach. I kind of like, I want to. It seems like a smart thing to do. Um, all right, I'm going to give, no, I'm going to give Brooks one more year. I mean, we didn't give him a ton to work with, so I'll give Scott Brooks one more year, and then he is, you know, not a free agent, but his contract runs out. Uh, after this season so if he doesn't end up doing well for us because i'm probably going to put a pretty decent team around him we'll look to move on so we're in the draft right now and we have the seventh pick from the spurs 11 from the Cavs, 19 of our own 20 from the trailblazers 23 from the nets wow um i don't know if i was in one of those trades i made that we acquired the pick from the spurs they might have it anyways i'm not positive i get i get really confused with picks but yeah okay um there's something i kind of want to do here I kind of want to pull the trigger on Cade Cunningham. I'm I'm seriously enticed by him. I mean, he puts up unbelievable numbers, and we are, you know, in the point guard market. I don't really know if I want to pay Spencer Dinwiddie 25, 30 million bucks. And I obviously don't need all of these picks. So if I can trade all these picks for number one and get Cade Cunningham into Washington Wizards uniform, I would be really pumped about it. And this honestly, I think it probably will go through. Who was the first overall pick? It's the Oklahoma City Thunder. That's pretty surprising. And they agree to that. Cade Cunningham is now a member of the Washington Wizards. I'm gonna, I, I get him. A, I don't get him a decent amount. I'd say this is probably my like only third or fourth video actually, you know, really getting him. But it's my, I got him recently, so I'll, I'll chill out on getting Cade for a couple videos. But I mean, he's six foot eight, he's 220 pounds, and he's a point guard. He's, he's Magic Johnson, literally. No, I'm not gonna go that far. But yeah, he's gonna be eight overall for us. I'm obviously super pumped about using him. Dinwiddie obviously declines that option. Why am I? Oh, I forgot to send McCurr Maker to the G League. I'm a bum. I'm a bum. That's what I am. Everybody's morale is just. It, that's been happening for me so much recently, and I just don't get why it happens, but I, I don't really like it. I'm like an OCD guy, and all these morales being down, is I'm not a fan of. I get maybe Troy Brown Jr. a little bit. Hachimura, you're in the starting lineup. I don't know what you're complaining about. That's just crazy to me. Uh, we're going to end the free agency right now. Kawhi Leonard is here. Uh, we really don't have the funds for him. Paul George also here. I mean, who's actually really taking up a lot of this money? D'Lo? Oh, I forgot. Karis LeVert's taking up a, a decent chunk of that. Uh, and then Burton's as well. Um, I know we do have to pay Jared Allen. 
I think Kawhi Leonard on this team would be absolutely insane. He has 16 offers. His number one offer is from Toronto. Looks like he wants to go back to the Raptors over returning to L.A. Paul George is not a bad backup option, and we're obviously we would go ahead and get him just because he doesn't have 100 interest on any of those. All right. Um, I think I have an idea in mind of what I want to do. I think Harris Levert is going to have to get traded, which I'm fine with because we have an 89 overall backup, you know, shooting or a starting shooting guard. So if I'm going to pull the trigger on a trade here. I don't need much. I just I'm looking for a pick of some sort. Seiko Dumbuya, a really valuable first round pick from Toronto, and Dewan Hernandez. I'm definitely going to do that. Um, and so now I believe I do have to unfortunately move on from Davis Burton, who I, again I don't want to move on from, but. Rui Hachimura is starting. I mean, I don't. I've, I've never been a huge fan of paying my backup like a ton more money than my starter. It just doesn't really seem smart to me. And I guess they could be cha- like interchanged of who is starting, but still. All right, Indiana's going to give me a first round pick in Edmund Summer for Davis Burton's, and now I do want to get rid of Dewan Hernandez, and I'll probably you know I'll just take two seconds. I, I probably could have got a first, but I have a ton of first round picks already. Um, might look to make a blockbuster trade as well. Uh, and then Edmund Summer, I really don't need the $2 million you have here. So I'll take a first from Chicago. That actually looked really, really valuable. Okay. I'm going to make my bid for Kawhi. Hopefully I have enough money. I might not even have enough money. Okay. I definitely do have enough money. That's the max deal. It lets me give him player option, no trade clause. Is he going to want to accept it? Wow. Kawhi Leonard is going to be in a Washington Wizards uniform. I mean, Spencer Wood is going to have to go. Uh, Jared Allen, I will go ahead and look to resign after this. But, yeah, I'm pretty pumped about that one. I'm going to make sure Jared Allen doesn't get any offers until after moratorium is up. Um, he might not even want to sign with me. His morale was down. And typically, that's somehow. Yep, nope, he's just not interested. Shit. Oh, actually, I can find I can do it through player find. I was going to say, because if he gets an offer, then I can't go ahead and, like, re-offer something. So, I'd be screwed there. So, hopefully, he doesn't get one on this final day. But I can also just go into player finder. Uh, yeah, he still doesn't have an offer. So, Kawhi Leonard is officially a member of this team. I'm assuming Jared Allen's probably going to get an offer. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and give him an offer. This is so weird uh, that it, ha- like it has to happen like this. I don't know why. It's just so like unnecessary, I feel like, that 2K has to go ahead and do this. But they do. We're signing Jared Allen to a $100 million contract over four years. So, at this point in time, at this point in time, um, Kawhi Leonard is obviously going to be the new guy here. Troy Brown Jr. and Okoro are just going to have to go. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I loved having them here, but... I just don't really need them. McCurr Maker is going to probably get traded. I forgot to send him to the G League. That's totally my fault. Requiring yet another first-round pick. I actually might have enough ammo to go out and make an even bigger blockbuster trade. All right, I have something in mind. Let me see what I can cook up. So I've been trying to make this trade here with Memphis acquiring Jared. Oh, okay. Well, we just got Jaron Jackson Jr. I hope you guys did see that. We did have to give up a trade exception, three first-round picks in Rui Hachimura. But Jaron Jackson Jr. is going to be an obvious upgrade over Rui Hachimura. It kind of goes without being said. So at this point, I'm looking for a backup power forward. Uh, a backup shooting guard and a backup point guard. I know I just I traded earlier. Who, who did I trade? Um, Karis LeVert, but I needed the money to sign Kawhi. So Troy Brown Jr. Actually, I mean, technically they're both only 6'6". I can check what overalls happened uh, when I traded. Troy Brown Jr. goes down to a 77. Okoro goes down to a 76. All right, I'm going to keep Okoro. Um, I know Troy Brown Jr. is still a higher overall, but he only goes down one or he goes down one more overall. And I honestly think a little more value here in Okoro than I do Troy Brown Jr. And I'm probably going to get yelled at for that, but it's fine. So I need a point guard. Um, in a power forward at this point. So I'm looking for either one of those. Point guard, Shabazz Napier. I don't really want to trade a 21-year-old for a 30-year-old. It just doesn't seem, you know, ideal. I'm probably going to forget I even said that and do the same thing in two seconds. Uh, Goga's like, what? Se- oh, he's only 6'11". I thought he was even taller. Sekou Dumbuya. All right, we'll do this. He's going to be our new backup power forward. Um, it's okay, but it is what it is. All right, I need a point guard now. Oh, boy. Oh, brother. All right, Nico Melli. I'm going to sign and then probably throw a first-round pick in there, acquire another point guard, and I'll see you guys at the start of year number two. We are here at the start of year number two, and our rotation is looking absolutely unbelievable. Cade Cunningham and D'Angelo Russell are going to be our backcourt. I'm super pumped about that. Kawhi Leonard, obviously our huge offseason addition. Jaron Jackson Jr. is another big offseason addition. And then Jared Allen uh, here as well. Might look to maybe improve that at the end of this year, but we'll ultimately, whoa, we can't speak, see what we do there. Bench is getting really solid. I gave the six-man spot here to Isaac Okoro. I definitely expect him to do big things for us. Thomas Bryant in here as well. Seiko Dumbuya and then Anthony Simons was who I traded Nico Melli for. I traded them literally straight up. Actually, it might have been a second-round pick in there as well, but no first or anything. So Anthony Simons is going to be our new backup point guard. Let's see how this team can do. I definitely expect to be a one or a two seed. I'll see you guys at the end of year number two. Year number two has come to a close, and it was a great year. It was a great year, to say the least. 66-16 and 16 for us. Love to see it. Giannis is your MVP. Cade Cunningham wins Rookie of the Year for us. 
Probably our number two or three scoring option as a rookie. Almost 20 points, six boards, eight and a half assists, 52% from the three field, 38% from three as a rookie is unbelievable. Ivica Zubak, six man. Anthony Davis, even the player of the year. Kevin Porter Jr., most approved. Don't see that one a ton. Scott Brooks does win coach of the year for us. So I would say if we don't make it to at least the Eastern Finals, Scott Brooks' time here uh, is probably up. League standings on the year. We had the best record in the entire NBA. You'll love to see it. Player stats right here for us. Kawhi, D'Lo, Cade Cunningham was third for us. Jaron Jackson Jr. I don't know why. I don't know. Why. Is his morale hurt? He probably is all butt hurt for some reason. Why? Why does this happen? Is there, like, can somebody let me know? Because I've been doing like a re rebuild for a long time now, and I've like I've never one I've really never changed my settings. Two, like why is this just starting to happen now? Did two K update my league or something to make everybody get all butt hurt? He's playing like thirty four minutes a night on the best team in the NBA, and he's our third highest overall. What are you pissed about? I, I, I don't get it. It's just ridiculous to me. Like I just don't know why things like this happen. It's just two K's game being so stupid. Uh, Jared Allen is next in scoring. Isaac Okoro, Thomas Bryant, Anthony Simon, Seiko Dumbuya. Alrighty. Rebounds per game went to Jared Allen. Assists went to D'Angelo Russell. So, team stats in the year. Points per game. We ended up being, what is that, fifth? Yep, fifth in the league defensively. We were first under 110 points a game. Really solid. Did get, end up giving us the best differential. So, we got New York here in the first round. Mike Conley, they traded for. Drafted Anthony Edwards. Signed Michael Porter Jr. Julius Randle, Mitchell Robinson, Rashawn Holmes. Oh, don't you tell me. Wait, wait a minute. These, did they trade R.J. Barrett for Mike Conley? I'm going to go to the Utah Jazz. And if my if R.J. Barrett's over there, I'm going to, just that's just ridiculous. Like, what in the world? Is he here? Okay, maybe he's not. Where's R.J. Barrett then? Because Michael Porter Jr. was a free agent. I saw it last year. So I don't know who else they could have possibly traded him for. Um, all right, I'm, I'm interested now. So I, I want to just look. Um, I'm just looking for Knicks. J.J. Redick. Josh Richardson. Okay, so they did trade for Michael Porter Jr., but he was a free agent last year. Josh Richardson, where am I just losing my mind? Maybe they just straight up didn't pick up his team option. I've seen it happen before. I don't see anything. I might have missed it, but that's crazy. That they, They're they like, what? What pick was R.J. Barrett? Three? Was he? I, why am I being brain dead right now? What pick was R.J. Barrett? I think I'm just being totally stupid right now. I I, I probably am. I, I I always forget what pick people guys are, and it's like such a pet peeve of mine. Uh, he, he was the third overall pick. Okay, I was right on that one. I I don't know why I blanked on that one for a second. Nets now, our old friend here, nice big three here of Kyrie, Bradley Beal, Kevin Durant, Thad Young here as well, and then they still have DeAndre Jordan, Aaron Baines off the bench, Nicholas Claxton, two centers just. Really ain't it, dude. But, yeah, this is going to be a fun test for us. See if we can end up taking on our old – or see if we can end up beating our old friend here, Bradley Beal. Um, and then we still have what? Is it just Jared? Yeah, just Jared Allen here from Brooklyn. But I'm still pretty happy with the way this came out. Former Celtics – or, wow, I can't speak ever in rebuilds. Former NBA champion Boston Celtics here, Walker, Smart, Brown, Tatum. Whitesides on this team now. How on earth did Hassan Whiteside end up here? That is a great fit, honestly, because Jason Tatum's obviously more of a small forward, and like, well, skill wise, is small forward. I mean, he has the height, and he's obviously can be a stretch forward, but that's crazy. Us in the Lakers here in the NBA Finals: Jeremy Lin, got Lin Sanity, Gary Harris, who's been declining for like two years now, which is crazy. And I'm not lying. Check his stats: LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Javale McGee, TJ Leaf, Josh and Kogi. Well, I don't know if we traded to L.A. He might have just ended up in L.A., but we're up 3-0 right now. Uh, I'd love to get in and see if I can beat, you know, commence the beat down on LeBron and AD. I wouldn't mind that one at all. Um, we're going to go ahead and keep simming here. We're up by 23 points. I'll see you guys in there. Here in the Staples Center right now, I would be very, very pumped, you know, if we can pull this one off here. Kawhi Leonard, can we just hit that, you know, mid-range right there? Perfect, dude. He's absolutely money. 25 on the night for Kawhi now, three rebounds, two assists as well. Absolutely unbelievable. Best two-way player in the league, in my opinion. You can have the conversation between him and Giannis or probably toss LeBron in there as well, but or Anthony Davis even, but that's just my pick. I'm not saying he's the best player, but he's the best two-way player, in my opinion. All right, did Jared Allen just tell oh, Thomas Bryant's in? What in the world? Why is why would Jared Allen and Thomas Bryant play together? All right, who's that checking in? Uh, I think it's Jaron Jackson Jr. LeBron, whoa, LeBron hits the first free throw here. Jaron Jackson Jr. is going to check in the game. D'Angelo Russell's 27 points, 5 rebounds, and 11 assists on the night. LeBron goes 2 for 2. Uh, from the free throw line. I'm excited to use Cade Cunningham here. I mean, the dude is 6'8", and he's a point guard. He's getting covered by LeBron, which kind of probably makes a little sense. Cade Cunningham going to get fouled. Wow. Is that 
Oh, I thought that was Giannis for a second. I forgot he won MVP. It's one of Giannis's brothers who, one of the many, I think there's three of them. Um, Cade Cunningham, first free throw is up and is good. Yeah, I'm having so much fun. Like, I, I want to do a full rebuild about around Cade Cunningham. I know I also promised I'd do one around Amoni Bates, which I will definitely get to probably within the next two or three videos. Um, but, yeah, this dude's absolutely insane. Um, I don't know why Kawhi is not covering LeBron. I definitely would, you know, prefer that one. But just, you know, my opinion, I'm not coaching the team. So, good pickpocket by Jared Allen. Just doesn't look like... We're going to retain possession there. We'll probably do one or more two or one or two more possessions. Just I, I don't like doing gameplay for too long. This is a rebuild. It's not like a not a my team video. All right. Looks like Thanasis or Thanos or Thanos or Thanos, whatever the hell the dude's name is. Having a little trouble there getting the ball inbound. Um, we kick it right here to Jaron Jackson Jr., the little bitch that wants to leave this team for God knows what reason. He just gets so pissy. I don't know. I don't know why he gets so pissy, but he, he just does. And it's not even just him. It's like the Mitchell Robinsons of the world do it too. Jared Allen, I've seen done it, do it before. Actually, Jared Allen was pissed in this video. He didn't even want to resign. I had to manually resign him. Well, not manually. Everything's manually. But you know what I'm saying. All right. Jared Allen with his 15th board of the night. D-low right here. Uh, just give it to Kawhi a little bit. Kawhi, open three. Come on. End it, end it, end it. Oh, he's going to miss that one. All right. We'll do one more defensive possession. Then if we have a fast break or something, I'll keep it on offense. Just like Shaquille Harrison right here. Uh, Jaron Jackson Jr. Just Tyler Kavanaugh. Oh, my God. That's Brett Kavanaugh vibes right there. Oh, oh Kawhi got it back for us. Unbelievable. Is that, who is, is that Davis Burton's? I'm not positive on that one. I don't know who that is. I thought he was wearing number 12. It looks like 17 now. Who is this? I actually have no idea. Come on, Kawhi. Come on. Oh, my God. All right, I'll see you guys in the finals MVP. Probably going to be Kawhi Leonard. Oh, wow. Jaron Jackson Jr. So let me get this straight. This dude wants to leave this. To Actually, you know what? That's a terrible example. But I'm, I was going to say this dude wants to leave the team after having the best record in the NBA, winning a finals MVP, and, like, being one of the best players on our team. But then again, you know, I guess Kawhi just literally did that with the Toronto Raptors. But... Not my place to judge. Not my place to judge. In real life, I'm talking about with Kawhi. Okay, we're going to head into this final offseason here. I think I probably want to pull off a blockbuster trade. Um, I don't know if it's really going to be able to happen. I don't know if we really have the assets for it. Uh, oh, my God, we're projected the third overall pick. We ended up with the second overall pick in the 2022 NBA draft. Okay, um, that's crazy. We're going to absolutely use that pick. I'm going to go ahead and sign Joshua Sanford, hopefully. Ooh, okay. I don't want to, you know, get a new head coach, but Steve Kerr is here. You little shit. Okay. I should have given him more money. All right, I'll just resign Scott Brooks. He did fine for us. Ah, I wanted Steve Kerr real bad. That would have been a great fit. Uh, let's head up to the draft. Okay, I won't draft Joe Nobody. I hate how that happens. Let's go up. We do have the second overall pick, which is crazy. I don't have a ton of trade ammo, though, so it's probably just going to be a lot of first-round picks. I'm looking for a center if you couldn't figure that one out. Um, I think I kind of want to try to get Joel Embiid here. Um, I think it'd be a really fun, fun fit. He's not untouchable. I don't really care. It's the final year, so you can just literally take whatever you want. And I'm not, you know, trading for anybody else big. Are you serious? They would totally do this in real life. Jared Allen, who's a nice, young, 24-year-old center. I get it. Joel Embiid's what? Only, or actually, he's 28 now. And the number two overall pick, along with four other futures, future first-round pick for, I mean, obviously one of the most dominant centers, you know, in recent NBA history, but he's injury prone. I, they would totally do this. Totally, totally do this. All right, I'll try for Cat. Probably won't happen. Um, but again, I'm going to try. Is he untouchable? Yeah, he's untouchable. But I'll, I'll offer them everything you know, I possibly can. They're probably still going to say no. But worth a try. Yeah, no, they're not going to do that. Um, DeAndre Ayton's a free agent. Is I'm a, like 99% chance Nicole, nope, not him. Yeah. I'm just going to try. I mean, you never know with 2K. Ten, like when teams tend to have bad records, sometimes they'll even trade guys, but yeah, not going to happen. All right, I'll do it for Porzingis. Hopefully, they can. Porzingis isn't untouchable. All right, he's not. This is a lot for Kristaps Porzingis. I, I'll give you whatever you want for him, but it's going to be a lot pretty much no matter what. Seriously, if they don't take this, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I got Bam out of buy on a video the other day. All right, I'll do Rudy Gobert. I'll do Rudy Gobert, but I'm actually, oh my god, we require $6 million more because Rudy Gobert is getting paid a metric fuck ton of money. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who do I even want to trade for? You know what? I can probably trade for Bam. Let me let me figure something out here. I can probably do Bam out of bio. 
I'll do Jared Allen, and then I'll just include future picks. I'm not going to do number two. All right, Bam Adebayo is on this team. Now what I'm going to do is how much money is Bam Adebayo making? He's making $30 bucks. I'm going to send him up to a power forward. Can I get Joel Embiid now? That would be super cool. Okay, I don't think I actually have to give up the second overall pick to make this happen. Come on, I can definitely get this to go through. Thank God I traded for all these future firsts. Come on, take the trade. God damn it. God damn it. All right, how about Porzingis? Because uh, I want to use the number two overall pick. Because I definitely can get something better. I know I can get him beat if I use the pick or pick number two. I just don't want to do it. Oh my god, you little, you little motherfuckers. I definitely still, this still won't go through, will it? Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I just traded for Rudy Gobert. For the first time ever, I'm going to try to get the number one overall pick, and I'm going to try to draft a Moni Bates here for the third and final year. Um, I don't know why I want to do it. It just seems something, some, seems like a fun idea. So who has the first overall pick? Um, it is going to be the, come on. Jesus. Go, of course. The rich get richer. All right. Just, come on. Don't make this. Just give me a counter offer or something. Are you kidding me? How much do you value? Okay, there we go. So, Amoni Bates is going to be our first overall pick. The dude's an absolute stud. I actually don't know what his overall is as soon as he gets drafted. I know by the end of his first year, he's typically an 85 overall. Um, but, yeah, he's going to be our number one overall pick. Uh, he's going to be, you know, for, playing for this team. He's an 82 overall. Okay, perfect. So, I'm pumped to have him. He's listed as a small forward, correct? Yes, he is. So, it's weird. Gonna, Kawhi's going to probably have a backup, but I'm actually okay with it. Uh, Okoro and Dubois are going to come back right now. Qualifying offers, Simons and Jaron Jackson Jr. Obviously, Jaron Jackson Jr. is a huge candidate. I don't even know if he's going to want to resign with me. Hopefully, he will. He's, he, he might get bitchy. He might get a little touchy. Ooh, KD's here in free agency. Obviously, you know, Kawhi or KD's not going to want to come here, but maybe, maybe, maybe. All right. So, Jaron Jackson Jr. will now take an, a deal with us after winning finals MVP. Uh, Thomas Bryant, I also wouldn't mind bringing back as well. And then my final guy here is Anthony Simons, who... Oh, I guess I gave Kawhi an offer. Okay. Um, so, we're going to be bringing them back. Wesley Wundu can leave. Nico Melli, I don't know, even know how I still had any sort of rights on him after I traded him literally a year ago. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sign back Simons and then I think I do have to make a trade and I'll see you guys there. So we're actually going to be pulling the trigger on this deal and I know I don't really know why I'm doing this, but the, the main reason is that I do want to get Derrick Rose a ring. I'm surprised we even have the funds for this. It's only because we're including Thomas Bryant, but um, I only run nine man rotations and Omoni Bates is going to start or not start, but he's going to come off my bench. I'm not just going to trade him. So yeah, Cade Cunningham will still start. Don't worry. Derek Rose is going to be coming off the bench though. Um, at this point in time, I need a new backup center. So Jaden McDaniel is probably in two first round picks because I doubt I have any money. Actually, he might go up at small forward, probably get a little more value for him. All right. Hey, she goes up 279. Okay. We're going to go ahead and trade now Jaden McDaniels along with two first. I still, we still have a ton of first round picks. I traded for a lot. Daniel Gafford is probably going to be who it's going to be. He's probably like, yeah. Um, I don't really see anybody else. All right. Daniel Gafford, welcome to Washington. We just got even another valuable first round pick. D'Angelo Russell just one of a backup. We are all set. I'll see you guys at the start of the third and final year. Third and final year in this team is looking absolutely insane. Cade Cunningham, D'Angelo Russell, Kawhi Leonard, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Rudy Gobert. Bench looks like this. Derek Rose, Amoni Bates. I am only given 18 minutes a night too. I mean, at the end of the day, he's still a rookie. Like, he, he's absolutely unbelievable in this game, but he's still a rookie. Say Gudumbuaya and then Daniel Gafford. I'm super pumped to see how this team does. I'm definitely hoping to get another championship. I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final year. End of year number three here, and what a year for us. 72 and 10. Giannis is the MVP. I think this is the third year in a row. At least you, you, typically you see uh, Luka Doncic at least once. Chet Holmgren is your rookie of the year. Um, I have no idea about this dude he might be really good he looks like i mean seven foot two he looks like an absolute stud only seven boards though seven foot two is an interesting one but he is a rookie i'm not going to judge too much for him but moving on our old friend spencer dinwoody here ended up in dallas how much is he getting paid per year 17 i mean decent stats um oh what he's getting paid under two million bucks he straight up did his campaign he did his campaign he must have hit that max contract goal that he set for his campaign, and now he signed a minimum contract with whatever team he wanted. Oh, cocaine's a hell of a drug. Giannis Stevens, the player of the year as well. Isaac Okoro, most improved. That sucks. It all, as soon as I trade somebody, they always win most improved. It's so weird. It always happens, though. Scott Brooks does win coach of the Air Force, I believe, the second year in a row. So we're a one seed. Uh, as you can see, I believe I did see that we do have to face uh, Milwaukee in the first round, which isn't ideal. But player stats, 
D'Angelo Russell, Cade Cunningham, Kawhi Leonard, Jordan Jackson Jr., Derek Rose, Amoni Bates. I mean, yeah, he normally really always wins Rookie of the Year, but, I mean, he was playing 18 minutes tonight. He wasn't even starting. It's kind of hard to do that. Uh, Rudy Gobert, Saquon Dumbuya, Daniel Gafford. Uh, we take a look at some rebounds per game. That one went to Rudy Gobert. Pretty obvious there. Cade Cunningham did lead us in assists. So, yeah, Milwaukee here. First round. Not ideal, as I mentioned. Sean Livingston, Dante DiVincenzo, Middleton, Giannis, Vernon Carey Jr., DeMar DeRozan off the bench. Wow. How tall is Dante DiVincenzo? 6-4. I might be able to play point guard and then slide DeRozan in there at shooting guard. I don't know, though. Hopefully we can get by this team in four, maybe five games. I mean, they probably do have the best player in the series. That's still my opinion, but we'll see. And I know I said earlier Kawhi's the best two-way player. It doesn't mean he's the best player in the league, but best player probably in that matchup. We do end up sweeping them, though, so conversation over. Moving on to round number two, we got the Knicks. Come on now. Conley, Edwards, Kuminga, Mobamba, Rashawn. What in the world is that front court? That team's honestly at their worst, in my opinion, than the Bucks. And, of course, are seriously? No way. No way. No way. Okay, there we go. Eastern Conference Finals. Now we got the Celtics. Tremont Waters. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's like 5'6", I think. Oh, he's not 5'10". Get out of here. Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Robert Williams. Zach Levine on the and Hassan Whiteside on the bench. Marcus Smart, pretty sure got drafted as a point guard. I would play him at point guard and start Zach Levine. Or Zach Levine, pretty sure got drafted as a point guard as well. Play one of them at point guard over Tremont Waters, really? We end up sweeping the Celtics. Denver Nuggets here in the NBA Finals. Jamal Murray, Isaac Okoro, Jeremy Land, Dante Hall, and Nicole Jokic. It's a solid team. I think we're definitely a lot better, though. I think they're pretty much only better at a better. What position they're better at us is than center. I can't speak. I don't know why. We do want to win the finals in Cade Cunningham. You love to see it. Does win finals MVP. So, yeah. A little fun what if there. Uh, seeing what if the Washington Wizards are going to go ahead and trade Bradley Beal. I kind of like how this rebuild honestly came out a lot better than the Nets one. Uh, one, I think the team was better pretty much overall, like depth-wise. And two, I think I just had more fun with it just because there's a lot more I can do. But, you know, on the other side of it with the Brooklyn Nets, I already have a big three. There's only so much I can do there. So if you guys did enjoy, leave a like down below. It would mean a lot to me. If you guys are new, please make sure to subscribe. Uh, let me know any other video ideas down below in the comment section, as I mentioned. Also, keep in mind, I'm going to be super active on that, like, community posting page. I, I don't know exactly what it's called. But, yeah. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Go follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to get my Twitter followers up still. It's not really going too well. It's right in the description. It's at Massa underscore YT. So go check me out on there. I have some pretty fire tweets sometimes. Uh, that about does it for me, though. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.